artificial intelligence and marketing, are we ready for the game changer? Last week, we at Nanos AI received results from our user study conducted with 23 participants. The questions were rather simple. Here's a short description of a product, and here are two ads about it generated from the description. Pick the ad that you like the best and assess if it's grammatically correct. Overall, five sets of textual ads were presented. What participants didn't know that uh, one of the ads was generated by a human marketer and the rest by Nano's machine learning technology. We were very curious to see the results and guess what? Most users preferred ads generated by the machine. We were happy, but also baffled at the same time. It seems that the ad creativity, in particular the text, can be now solved without major human intervention. What does it mean for the armies of marketers who rely on this marketing task as their main value proposition for their clients? Marketing is not a science. Understanding how online marketing really works could take years. But let's face it, marketing is not an exact science. It's highly experimental. However, it could be very successful at the first try, should all the right ingredients of the secret sauce happen to work perfectly in a perfect harmony. There are plenty of examples of successful marketing campaigns worldwide, but we don't know how many iterations and how long creators actually took to make a particular ad go viral. Furthermore, if you were to try to repeat the success of others by doing or going the same route, more often than not, your attempt would likely fail. What we do know for sure is that over time, better decisions can be executed. For example, one could easily spend thousands of dollars on paid advertising only to find out that Facebook was in fact the wrong digital platform to advertise on. Or perhaps based on the marketing advice of an agency, you shifted your budgets to Google and then paid a designer and the copywriter to adapt your ads accordingly. Time lost and additional resources spent. But what if your customers are waiting for you on Twitter and not on Google? Or perhaps you already have a huge amount of traffic that brings the audience to your website. Even still, this does not convert into paying customers. So what should you do? Experiment more with the content of your ads, your website, or both at the same time.